Hi, David Jennings here from MelbourneSEOServices.com. Wanted to make a video for you about Google's latest change with their introduction of Google Instant Previews. Now, Google's been jumping in and making a whole lot of changes lately. The way that they've been mixing up Google Places, the way that Google Instant has been introduced um, and they're really starting to shake things up a bit so here's their latest change the Google Instant Preview so I'm over here at Google I'm just going to I'm signed into my account so Google Instant is going to work and we'll just type in Melbourne uh, SEO services and you can see here now next to the listings you've got a magnifying glass and that magnifying glass uh, enables the user to preview the page without actually clicking on the listing so if I click that it pops up a little snapshot here and you can see what the website looks like before you even visit it now through Google's testing they're basically saying people who click this preview and have a look at the preview are 5% more likely to actually stay on the page and travel around it based on the idea that they've already previewed it and if we think a little bit about psychology here and, and why someone might stick a little bit better it's almost like they've made a mini micro commitment by having a look at the magnifying glass knowing what it is that they're expecting to see there's that that connection well they've they already know what they're expecting and when that expectation is met by visiting the website it's almost like they've made that further commitment by yep I've decided to come to this website and yes I'm going to check it out so for me it makes sense that by doing this you're going to get people better stick rate at least to have a little bit about a look around the website so the first thing to note here is obviously the introduction of this now we need to start to think about well what does that actually mean for us and does that change the game at all or, or change the way that we do things so for me personally I think the, the biggest thing you need to take away from here is the importance of making sure that your website looks good and now more than ever people do judge a book by its cover people do judge a website within the first five seconds of visiting it or even less they make a, a, a split second decision when they hit your landing page if it's something that looks credible and something that they're going to want to stick on so the more that you can include things especially above the fold things with logos and things that are instantaneously recognizable to the user I think that's going to be better at enticing them in it's also important that your website looks good because people will start to judge by the book by its cover and may or may not necessarily visit the website it's unknown as to whether or not um, this is going to alter the course of search which I've highly doubt like I mean every time something comes out like when Google instant most recently came out everybody was like you know this is going to change the face of SEO I don't think that's going to be the situation here but just some things to bear in mind as far as making sure that your website looks good another thing I wanted to mention is um, also for some terms and I think uh, they, they'll be indexing this on, on a greater basis but let's say I go for um, uh, bit Google local uh, SEO uh, they're also including in on some of the screenshots uh, they're including uh, call outs so I'll show you what I mean if I hit the preview here you can see we've got a snapshot and just down on the right hand side here they've actually done a call out on some of the text and you know magnified it so that it's readable so I think that's something to definitely keep in mind obviously this is such a new thing yet no one knows what's causing them to pull out data but if I was to make my guess best guess something that you definitely want to start looking at if you're not already doing it are rich media snippets now rich media snippets you're an basically calling out certain bits of info to Google to say hey this is is relevant to you and they are including Google rich snippets things like reviews and that type of thing into the normal search results as it is at the moment so by using Google um, the, the rich media snippets you might be able to call that out and then potentially influence what appears on that anyway that's just a little bit of a recap on my thoughts uh, on what's going on with uh, instant previews if you want to get some more tips make sure you head over to Melbourne seoservices.com